May 1973. Mr. Chairman, I am afraid my honorable friend has not understood me when I say that there will be a university in New Delhi. It will not be without colleges or the necessary facilities. I take it that it will mean a good and big expansion in New Delhi where quite a large number of student population resides. Some of them travel 8 or 9 miles every day. Through the transport question is a big question in Delhi. They have to stand for long hours in queues to get into the buses. This is a big problem. It is the duty of the central government as also the Delhi University which is said to be national university under the central government to give admission to all the students who want to go for higher studies. Till recently, the Punjab University was conducting evening classes and conducting examinations but this facility has now been removed because the Delhi University did not want that its jurisdiction should in any way be infringed by allowing any other university to exercise the powers that should be exercised by it with the increase in the number of students and the closing of the evening colleges the problem has grown bigger so the starting of the correspondence courses is quite welcome it is also good that it is thrown open to students who are residing in any part of the country this is the one way in which our difficulty can be met after all many young men want to go in for higher education or want to go to an evening college or attend a part-time lecture so that while they are earning they are able to improving their qualifications they can put themselves to much better service this is a good future but i do not think it is enough the honorable minister says that they will start these courses only with the arts classes. This is a new experiment. I do not say it should start with all other subjects like science and technology, but I think it will meet only a very small fraction of the difficulty being faced by Delhi students, particularly when our country is advancing very rapidly and students of science and technology are more and more eager to find admission it will be something to introduce these courses but not in any of hotter manner i somehow feel that these correspondence courses should have started at least with three subjects which were mentioned by the minister just now Another thing that he mentioned is that the same teachers will set the papers, the lectures, etc. This may be a good feature, but the teachers who are teaching in schools and colleges may not be well conversant with the method of correspondence. Minister is able to remove our apprehension with regard to the standards that will be obtained by making the students go in for correspondence courses in different degrees and diplomas. I cannot say that the Delhi University has discharged his, its responsibilities so far as providing advanced education to students who come out of our schools is concerned to the extent it should have done. I can say with confidence that there is a great resentment among the student population in Delhi that the facilities which Delhi University is providing are not enough and even the existing colleges are not up to the mark. Apart from the teaching staff who may be of a medium order, the other equipment and efficiency obtaining there is far below 
the standard in some good universities Gra- garden house road patna 20th Jan- june 1970 june bright solicitors bombay dear sirs we have pursued your amendments in the draft contract and that it is well to write to you at once upon two or three points that are vital in the first place it is impossible for the vendor to deduce a 40 years tile he purchased the property under conditions which precluded him from calling for or incurring into the title anterior to the date of the deed mentioned in clause 3 of the draft contract and as that deed in dated more than 30 years ago we trust your client will be content to accept it as the root of the title we observe also the your client wishes to postpone the completion of the purchase for 6 months from the present time this proposal the vendor is unable to entertain he informs us that he told your client before any offer was made that the sale must be completed by 25th of this month at the latest he is not prepared to extend the time and he instructs us to say definitely that if the sale is to proceed the date named by us for completion must remain and as your client is willing to give way on these points the negotiations must be considered at an end on hearing he is willing to do so we shall revise the draft for your approval yours truly